Hi guys and welcome to Timigedi. Today I want to show on this demonstration on how we can use AS Path VPN to force all the routers on the internet to choose a particular ISP to our network. On the, in this topology we have a, uh, a prefix attached to the HQ router that we need to advertise out to both ISPs but we want ISP1 to be preferred for most of the traffic that are coming into our AS autonomous system. It should be done in a way that if ISP1 goes down, the, the traffic should come through ISP2. But as long as IS, ISP1 is up, majority of the traffic should come through ISP1 while the remaining one comes through ISP2. From what I have set up here, the HQ router is on the prefix of 192.168.40.0.24 with AS number 400. The ISP1 is on the AS number 200, the prefix is 10.0 network slash system, while the ISP2 is on uh, AS300 with prefix 20.0.0.0 slash system. So we need to have this set up on Microtik, and I have my Microtik router here, so we are just going to uh, have it set up. So I'm logged on to my microtech and I just need to set the BGP process in motion. The first thing we need to do is to set up a, uh, a filter rule that we use to match our prefix. You don't want to end up advertising the uh, networks that you don't want to advertise to your ISP. So you need to use uh, a filter rule to match the prefix that you need to advertise. So you click on uh, routing and then you come to filter. Over here, I'm going to create a filter room. On that matcher, you give it a name and say ABC dash out. This uh, makes me know that it is what I want to advertise out. So 192.168.40.0 slash 24, which is the prefix. Okay, so I'm going to click invert route target and then over here. BGP action. I need to prepend it because I will be using it in my advertisement to force the routers on the internet to choose ISP1 over ISP2. So I'm going to come to set BGP prepend AS part. Okay. And I'll say 400 because this router is an autonomous number 400. So I will prepend that 400 twice. Okay. So that will make when this router advertises to the other router, if I'm using this particular filter rule for that pairing, it's going to add autonomous system number 400 twice to the original one, making it three AS path instead of one. So I'm going to click on apply and OK. Having done this, I'll go ahead to uh, routing BGP. So over here, you click on instance. If you don't want to use the default, you can just click on add to create yours. Okay, but uh, all I did was to just edit this one, change it to autonomous system number that you're using, which is a 400, and apply and okay. So the next thing is to go to pairing, you add under pair. You can give it a name or you can leave it at pair one. The instance here should match with the instance you, you use, you know. I didn't create a new instance, so I'm leaving it at default. If I had created any one, I would have just come here and then chose that one. So we put the remote IP address. So ISP1 is 4.4.4.2, and then the AS parts, AS number for ISP1 is 200. Okay, I'm not using EBGB multi-top because on on the ISP routers, uh, the BGP process was uh, is going to be set up on a physical uh, interface not on the loopback interface so having done this one i'm going to click on advanced and then the update source here i'm going to choose the interface i'm using to connect to isp1 and is on the data flow so i'll say apply and okay then the next thing is to come to network and then enter the prefix that you want to advertise i'm going to say 192.168.40.0 slash 24 and then I'll apply and okay. So I'll go back to pair again and try to pair with the, uh, the other ISP, which is ISP2. So it's going to be on pair 2, and I'll just put the IP address, which is 5.5.5.2. .5 .5 .5 .2. 
and then the AS part of that one is 300 and then for this ISP2 because I want ISP1 to be preferred ahead of ISP2 so I'm going to come over here the uh, out filter and choose the one I just created so when ISP uh, when uh, the HQ router advertises to ISP2 it's going to prepare the AS part by 2 so that way ISP1 is going to see it's going to be seen as having the shortest path to the network and it will be preferred ahead of ISP2 so having done this I will come to advance here and then I will choose the, my update source for ISP2 I'm connected to ISP2 via Etherfile and I'll just apply and OK so as you can see the router says it's actively trying to establish this BGP pairing so we'll go to the other routers and try to set them up so let's go to ISP1 on ISP1 I'm going to come to uh, routing BGP so under the routing BGP process, the instance is here and then uh, the AS part is 200. So I'm using the default. So I'll come to pair, click on this and then try to establish the pairing. So I'm connecting to 4.4.4.1, which is the IP address on the HQ. And then HQ is on the minus 400. So if I've done this and then I'll come to advance and then the update source here. It's going to be on 84 and apply and OK. And this is idle, and as you can see, the BGP process has been established on this uh, router, which is on the uh, ISP1 router. So I'm going to go to ISP2 and do the same thing. So I'll come to pair, add. Under the general router, I'll be trying to add, add the IP address of the other router. Uh, and it's on 400. And then of this source of the Zenith of 5. So I'll apply and OK and hopefully it has been established. So if I go to um, IP route on ISP2, you can see that we are receiving route. The reason why it is like this is because I have a static route to so that same network from this router. So this is not perfect. But if I should disable this the static route automatically the BG people uh, uh, router the bgp route is being preferred now so if you double click on it you can see for isp2 that is being prepended in three places the original one plus the two added let's check for isp1 and see for isp1 if i go to ip route and then double click let me just disable the static route to force this one to come into the process you can see it's just one so when these two isp routers advertise to upper providers they are going to prefer most of them will prefer isp1 because it has a, part, a shorter uh path to the network but in the event that isp1 goes down everything will come through isp2 definitely the other isp routers are not advertising let's try to advertise uh, their prefixes so i'm going to come to network on isp1 I'm going to add 10 .0 slash system apply and OK it and go to ISP2 and I'll try to add the same go to routing BGP and then go to network and add 20.0.0.0 slash system and apply and OK now on ISP2 when you check here you're going to see that it is receiving the route from ISP1, which is the 10 network. Okay, and then if I go to ISP1, I should see the 20 network as well. So I'll go to IP route, and I'm seeing the, the 20 network here. Now, what I need to do is to implement a filter rule that will stop ISP1 from receiving this route from uh, uh, the HQ router. You know, the HQ router is receiving the route from ISP. Uh, two and is advertising it to ISP1. So, in most cases, when you implement BGP on a corporate network, your router does not have the resources to take all the routing tables. Okay, so you need to implement a filter rule to stop your ISPs from sending you uh, BGP routes, and you, you are going to set up um, a static route for your outgoing traffic while you use your you use BGP to balance your incoming traffic, which is what we have done.
So what I need to implement now is the rule to stop your uh, uh, to stop the the receiving of incoming uh, route, which you do not need in because you already have a static route. So on ISP one now, we need to uh, receive. We need to tell this router to receive only the forty uh, uh, network, which is the prefix from HQ, and not this other one. So to do that, I'm going to go to routing and I'll go to filter and add. Let's call this ABCN. And the prefix I want to receive is 192.168.40.0 slash 24. Okay, this is the only prefix I need to receive. And you're going to come here and click on impact match. Okay, then I'll go to action and I'll say discard. So what this means is that anything that is not equal to this prefix should be thrown away. So having done this, I'll go back to my BGP pairing. So go to routing, um, go to uh, BGP, then on that pair here, I'm going to double click on it. This is the statement that uh, the ISP1 router uses to pair with uh, the HQ router. So I'll come over here at uh, filter in, and then I'll choose ABC in. And then I'll apply and OK it. Now that I have done this, we need to go to the routing table to confirm if we are still getting those right. And as you can see, we are now receiving the 20 network anymore. Okay, so all we are receiving the BGP route we are receiving here is the 40.0 and it's being received via the HQ route. If I should go to uh, ISP2. Definitely, we will be getting the route from ISP1 as you can see. This is ISP2, and ISP2 is still receiving the route from ISP1. That's because we did not apply that filter. So, guys, that's how quick and how simple it is for you to set up BGP load balancing and automatic failover using ASPAC token, and also how to filter out all incoming BGP routes so that you don't uh, end up. Uh, having the processor of your router eating up. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and also visit my blog at www.timigate.com.